what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at all of my Chase Funko Pops. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so basically I have around 15 Chase Pops. Around 15, so maybe 13, maybe 14, I don't know the exact number. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be showing off all these Pops. I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be talking about where I got them from, uh, what makes the Pop a Chase, what's the difference between that and the common. And uh, yeah. Basically, all these pops are really awesome. A chase pop, if you don't know what a chase pop is, a chase pop is a common pop that's harder to get. There's a one out of six chance of getting it. Basically, in a case of six, that gets shipped out to a store. One of those pops is a chase. And it could be like glow in the dark, or it could be flocked, or it could be um, a slight difference in the pop. I made a whole video about that. If you want to check out, it'll be the top link in the description below. Uh, it's all about chase pops and how to get them. But yeah, basically, in today's video, I'll be showing off all of my chase pops. Let's dive right into it. So here we are with the second camera angle. This is just like any of my other collection showcase videos. I have another camera angle so that way we can get a better look at all the pops. I'll be displaying all the pops in the stand over there that I made. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right into this video. So right here we have um, a pork chase. This is a really awesome pop. Now the difference between this and the other, uh, and this and the common pop is that this one has his mouth closed and on the pork pop, it is his mouth is opened. It's kind of a lazier chase, but it's still cool. Uh, this pop is currently going for $16. I bought it off my friend Ryan for about, I think it was $25 for this and another chase. So this is a really awesome pop. Uh, in this line here, you can you can see the line, pause it if you want to. Uh, this is a really big line. This was released for Star Wars. I'm not exactly sure which movie. I believe it was The Last Jedi. But yeah, there we have the pork chase. This is really awesome. Next up, we have the Rocco and Spunky Chase. This chase is going for $18, but the box is, is really damaged. Uh, it's probably going to be going for like $12 if the box is, is, is taken into consideration. I bought this off my friend Brandon for, I believe, uh, around $15. Uh, it was a really good deal. I had to snag it. Uh, this, is pop, uh, this is 320 in pop animation. And the difference between this and the uh, chase the common has his mouth closed and everything's fine. And then on the chase, as you can see, kind of, that his mouth is kind of like droopy. And same with the dog. The dog's eyes are like lit up. Pretty much the, uh, the difference is that they are sick here. This is a really awesome pop. I really like that pop. Uh, I watched a few episodes of Rocko and Spunky. It's a really awesome Nickelodeon show. But yeah, there we have Rocko and Spunky. So next up, we have a really awesome pop. And that is a Shadow Heartless Chase. I got this from a Poptopia mystery box. In this line, we have Sora, uh... I don't know how to say that name. Uh, let me know in the comments section below how to say that. I'm not going to even try bothering saying that. Riku, Shadow Heartless, and organiza uh, Organization 13 Mickey. This pop, Organization uh, 13 Mickey, has a chase as well, but it's exclusive to the box lunch. Uh, and the Shadow Heartless also has a chase. The difference between this and the common is that this one goes in the dark. I got this from a Poptopia.us mystery box. It was, I believe, 25 Well, in, in Canadian pricing, it was like kind of came out to $45 for this and a common pop for the box. It was $30 American plus shipping. So it came out to like 45, 50 here in Canada. Uh, so it was a really good deal and I really got a chase out of it. So I decided to get it. I, I remember I freaked out over this. I opened this up on the channel, but yeah, this is a really awesome pop. So here we have the pork chop pop. This is 412 in pop Disney. In this line we have Doug, pork chop and patty mayonnaise. This is a really awesome pop. The difference between this and the original, uh, Pork chop pop is that this one is flocked as you can see here it says flock chase and then also has a flock sticker i think that's kind of funny that they have both stickers now something that that i'm kind of mad about this pop is uh, i left it too close to the heat and the box kind of melted and then inside there you can see like some sort a sort of for, foreign uh language that basically see and it's good as new in a second like I just have to push it down a little bit. But that foreign uh, language that you've seen on the inside of the box, that pretty much see, uh, says put glue here for the uh, manufacturers. This is a really awesome pop. Got that from uh, another Poptopia mystery box as well. If you want to check that video out, uh, go to my playlist section on YouTube and then click on mystery boxes and that video should be there. And that pop is going for a total of $16. Oh, and Shadow Heartless is going for $26. So uh, yeah, these two pops are really awesome. And uh, yeah, I got both of those from my Poptopia mystery box. Next up, we have Jasmine. This is a pop that is really awesome. This is a newer pop in my collection. In this line, we have Prince Ali, Genie with Lamp, Elephant Abu, Jasmine, and Iago. Now, the difference between this and the common, and most people would say this is a really lazy chase, and I kind of agree, is that, as you can see here, her hand is face straight out, 
And the difference between, and as you can see on the chase, is that he's, she's holding an apple. You can't really see it, so. And as you can see here, she's holding an apple in her hand instead of it being faced the other way. Uh, my dad picked me up this one for $10, I believe. Uh, and the reason it was so cheap, the pop, uh, was that the box was kind of damaged and it was at some auction place. And the box was kind of damaged and I, it was there. And it's not even that badly damaged. Like, everything else is fine just for this top flap. But yeah, this is a really awesome pop and I'm super happy to have that in my collection. Next up, we have the Tiffany Chase. This is a really awesome pop. Uh, this is the Bride of Chucky line. Uh, this is Pop Pop Movies 468. Uh, the difference between the common, as you can see on the side, uh, and the chase is that the common uh, is normal and the chase is a blood splatter all over the face. They normally do this with most horror pops. I think it's pretty cool. And I got this one. Actually, my dad got me this one for five dollars from the same auction place as this one. Uh, the reason is the reasoning behind the, the pricing is that there's a huge sticker on the slapped on the top of it from Amazon. So I, I'm assuming this was from Amazon, uh, and it got sent to someone at the auction place, or they just put it up there. And the box is really damaged all over the place, but it's not terrible, terrible damage. But this is a really awesome pop, and I'm super happy to have this in my collection. That's my only horror pop in my collection. Uh, I plan on getting other horror pops, such as the Chucky on cart, that was a the hot topic a while back, and many others that look cool. I don't know too much about horror pops, but the only reason I would probably get them is due to them looking awesome. Like, it just, the detail on those horror pops look insanely cool. But yeah, there we have the Tiffany Chase. So next up, we have the Eleven with Egos Chase. This is 421 in Pop Television. In this line, we have Eleven with Egos, Eleven Underwater, Mike... Uh, Will, Lucas, Dustin, Barb, Demogorgon, and Joyce. This is a really awesome uh, line. I know this is a huge fandom that people collect in the Funko community. The level that they go chase is currently going for uh, 50, thirteen dollars, and uh, sorry, the Tiffany chase is going for twenty, and the Jasmine chase is going for twenty-two. Uh, the level that they go chase is currently going for six, uh, thirteen dollars. Uh, the reasoning behind that is because like it's one of the more more common chases that you can find out in the public, uh, out in the wild. This chase is really, really common, and the difference between this chase and the common is, as you can see, the common is here, and the chase is here, and the chase has a wig on. Now, Stranger Things is a really massive line, and I got that from Yugo Animations uh, on Instagram from a giveaway. Thank you, Yugo Animations. Uh, there will be a link to my video as well as his Instagram. Uh, it was really awesome. He gave me that and four other pops. One of those pops is in the video as well, so stick around for that. So there we have 11 with Egos. So next up, we have Star-Lord, not Star-Lords. Uh, both of these pops are really awesome. I got one of these from a giveaway from Yugo Animations, and the other one I got from another giveaway as well. Uh, so here we have Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Nebula, Groot, Rocket, uh, Mantis, Ego, and Taserface. Uh, now, most people would say this is a more lazy chase, and I kind of agree uh, again on that. Because as you can see here, there's there's regular Star Lord, and then on the side it just says helmet is the difference. Now the reason people uh, people would say this is a uh, lazy chase is because the com the Toys R Us exclusive of Star Lord has the exact same helmet just without the pose, and basically you could do a head swap of the two pops if you ever wanted to to get the chase, and it's kind of lazy. But this is a really awesome pop, and I'm super happy to have this in my collection. Uh, this one is currently going for $30, so those two combined equal $60. Uh, this is a really awesome pop, like I said, and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. So next up, we have the Violet Chase. I got this one actually out in at EB Games. This is my first chase that I found in the wild. In this one, we have Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, Jack-Jack, uh, Frozone, Screensaver, and Undertake, uh, Undertaker. <laughs> Just say the Undertaker. Uh, Underminer. Uh, this is a really awesome pop. This is from the 365 in Pop uh, Disney. Now, the difference between this and the common, I think you can see it. Uh, the difference is this one is fully, like, you can see the actual uh, colors on the pop. And this one's completely translucent. Now, like I said, I, this is my first chase that I found in the wild. I picked that one up at EB Games for retail pricing. Uh, fun fact about this, when I found this, is it was all the way, like, there was four pops, right? It went four pops back, the, the, the pop wall at EB Games. And this was the fourth one in the back, and it was all the way in the corner. So I got really lucky finding this one. I was super happy when I found it. So next up, we have the Predator Chase. This is a really awesome pop. This is 12 in Pop 8-Bit. This is one of the first 8-Bit pops to be made. Now, the difference between this and the common is, as you can see here, the common is in full colors. Now, this one is glow-in-the-dark and is fully white. This one is also glow-in-the-dark, I believe, but I'm not sure. I don't really know about that. Uh, I think it is, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this one does glow-in-the-dark. The glow in this is insanely cool. This pop is going, currently going for $50. Uh, sorry, this pop's currently going for 40 and the violet's going for 28 or 20. 
So yeah, the violet's going for twenty, and this one's going for forty. I keep on forgetting the pricing for these uh, for these pops. This is a really awesome pop. I got this out of a GameStop mystery box. You can see me opening that up on my channel if you uh, go to the mystery box section in the playlist. But yeah, I'm super happy ha happy to have that in my collection. Don't know too much about Predator. I mainly got that box because I really wanted that Ryu uh, eight bit chase, but I didn't get it. Instead, I got two Predator chase. Uh, uh, sorry, two Predator commons and one Predator chase. So I'm really excited, uh, happy to get that after two fails. And next up, we have Weaponized Rick. This is a really awesome pop. This is 172 in pop animation. In the slime, we have Weaponized Rick, Weaponized Morty, Mr. Meeseeks, Squanchy, Bird Person, Mr. Boo Butthole, and Squanchy. Uh, uh, there's also a chase for Mr. Meeseeks, which I do have. You'll see that later on in the video. Uh, this one is from a trade that I did with Top Pops. The difference between this and the uh, common is that the common you can see there, and then the, this one has his mouth open. This is a really awesome pop. Uh, it's a great addition for my Rick and Morty collection. It's currently going for $18, and this is a really awesome pop, and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. Thank you, Tristan, for the really awesome trade. And then here we also have Mr. Meeseeks, which is also given to me from uh, Top Pops from a trade that I did. It was General Grievous for this and uh, this one. Mr. Meeseeks, Weaponized Rick, uh, two other Rick and Morty pops, I believe. There's a whole video on it, Toronto Comic Con 2019 recap. It will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. The difference between this and the common is that, as you can see here, the common smiling with his thumbs up. And this, uh, the chase is the common is raged with the gun in his hand. This is actually one of those chases that you don't come across too often. Me, uh, me saying that meaning, um, it's one of those chases where it has a lot of more detail than the co actual, like, common. As you can see here, the common is, like, a completely different sculpt than the chase. It's like, let's just say the weaponized Rick, for example, the only difference is that they have painted a different mouth on him. As for the chase, they made a completely different sculpt for this one. So I thought that was pretty cool. This one is... Pretty this, uh, Mr. Meeseeks Chase is currently going for $26. That is a really awesome pop. So thank you, Tristan, for those two awesome trades. And finally, we have the Sentient R. Morty Chase, which I also bought off my friend Ryan. In this line, we have Prison Break Rick, Sentient R. Morty, Warrior Summer, Hemorrhage, and Rick Facehugger. This is a really awesome pop. The difference between this and the common is, as you can see here, the common has no blood splatter, and he's kind of sad. And this one, he's smiling with blood all over his hand, and he's giving a thumbs up. This is a really awesome pop, probably one of my favorite Rick and Morty episodes. Thank you, Ryan, for that amazing deal on those two pops, the Porg and that one. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below, do you own any of these Chase figures, and do you have a Chase yourself? How many Chases do you have? I remember doing a video on this, uh, all of my Chase Fungo Pop collection in the summer, but I decided to redo it because I got a lot more Chases uh, since that time uh, where I made that video. Make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.